Now that we've measured this roof and generated a measurement report mm -hmm. here in RoofSnap, I want to take a look at how to generate estimates as well. Yeah, you know, estimating in RoofSnap is probably the biggest time saver that the software can bring to any organization. Mm -hmm. uh, what can take some uh, salespeople, you know, 45 minutes to an hour to do up an estimate for a uh, complex roof replacement mm -hmm. uh, can be done in just a couple minutes here in RoofSnap. Wonderful. If you go into the estimate items screen here in RoofSnap, instantly you're going to see some items already generated into sort of the first estimate option. Okay. These items have come directly from the pins that we put on the roof. Four install, I'm sorry, six install box vents, $99. Now this is based on some sample pricing that we have in our office for demonstration purposes. You're going to be able to customize your individual pricing for any of the items that you see as we demonstrate estimating here in RoofSnap. One of the ways that you can generate an estimate is to simply start by building it one item at a time. Okay. You can select your shingle, grab an architectural shingle, and select a color. Now let's go ahead and hit the done button and add that shingle and you can see it's a line item here at the bottom. Mm -hmm. We can then go in to the add material and from here we can add all sorts of things. Now I'm not going to select any more items in here, but let's take a look at the options. So you've got remove and disposal, fasteners, hip and ridge. You can even filter based on the manufacturer of that first shingle that you've selected. Wonderful. If you know what you're looking for, you can just begin to search in the search bar. If you want to filter by just materials only, and that'll be things that don't include your field shingles, mm -hmm. but that also don't include any sort of tear off or steep charges, gotcha. just your standard materials for um, hip and ridge, underlayments, accessories, fasteners, things like that. Okay. Those will all be under materials. But if you want to go in and look specifically for labor related items, mm -hmm. here's your remove and disposal, here's your second layer, we even have second story charges. Great. I'm going to go ahead and hit the done button here, not adding any of those extra items because there's another way to build a complex estimate in RoofSnap based on pre-customized templates. Notice down here in the bottom left hand corner is this little folder icon. Uh -huh. When you tap on that, it's going to reveal any templates that you have already created. Gotcha. And we'll show you how to build templates, but that'll be in a separate video. Sure. Coming down through here, you notice that we've called some of them good, we've called some of them better, and we've called some of them best. Even some designer options as well. Well, the reason is a lot of roofers like to give the good, better, best option. Mm -hmm. Let's give them the three tab option just in case they need a competitive price from a, uh, somebody who maybe gave a low ball offer sure. you know, from some competitor. Uh, let's give them that standard product. Maybe it's a nice architectural product with some synthetic underlayment. Uh -huh. uh, and then let's give them a high-end option, maybe uh, impact resistant for areas that get a lot of hail damage, or a designer option for people who live in gated communities. Sure. That's, uh, that's a common methodology, a common practice mm -hmm. for estimating and roofing. So let's go ahead and build one of these good, better, best style estimates. Great. Uh, now I typically like to do um, the better as my low end. Okay. So let's start at the better with the GAF Timberline HD. Sounds good. What that's going to do once we dive back into the estimate items is it's going to build our first estimate and ask us to choose a color. But notice it's also included all of those accessories that we had in there from pins. Yes, that's right. And it's given us our first option here at just under 10 grand. And are these templates editable? So I notice we don't really have any valley on this particular roof. That's true. So being that valley was included in the template but doesn't actually exist on this roof, we can simply slide to the left and then delete that item right out of this option. Perfect. Then we'll tap on that little icon in the left corner. And let's go with the um, best option. Let's do a, a GAF Armor Shield Impact Resistant. And that'll be option number two. Now let's navigate to that, and it's going to ask us again to choose a color. We'll go ahead and pick a color and delete the valley. Once the valley's been deleted, let's add that third option. So this, instead of a good, better, best, it's like a better, best designer huh? option. Uh, and let's throw in something really high end. Let's go with that Owens Corning Berkshire. All right. And this will be a substantially higher option. 
But again, it's all about bracketing them towards that system that you do very regularly, that you recommend to the majority of your customers. Now, sometimes you'll get that high-end uh, option, and of course, sometimes they'll go with the low option. Um, but here, we'll do the same thing one last time. We'll select the designer option, tap on the OK button for the color, pick that color, and then of course, delete the valley. That valley, as you noticed, has a zero quantity mm -hmm. because it's not a line that exists on the roof. So it's not automatically porting in any measurement from those labels we included. In order to deliver this estimate to the customer, we're gonna need to create another document. Okay. So let's navigate back out of the estimate screen, back into documents, and you'll see we have the ability to generate a new estimate right here at the top. Once that document has generated, just tap on Estimate PDF to open up that document here in RoofSnap. And the thing I like best about the estimate, especially when you've used templates, mm -hmm. is that it gives you those three options in a side-by-side -side comparison. Yes. Notice that we have these images of the actual shingle in the color that we selected. Mm -hmm. So there's no question about what product is being offered. Scroll down through here with me and you'll see that um, all of this stuff is in, say, the roofing category. <laughs> right. You do have the ability to add gutters, siding, other trades, and it'll separate out those trades into the different categories. Also, we are seeing uh, linear and surface area measurements for these line items. Now, that can be turned off. Gotcha. Settings for these documents where you can control how much information is being shown, like this line item pricing here. Mm -hmm. You don't have to show per line item pricing. You can turn that off and simply just show totals on the estimate screen. Great. Ultimately, this document with all of these details will help the customer make their decision. Which product do they want to go with? And we'll leave the answer to that question for the next video.